Your was good. I'm reacting to this news story and also this video because this is crazy to me. <laughs> I'm sure y'all read the title. We are inside the submersible Titan, which is a carbon fiber and titanium sub that can go to the depths of the Titanic. Hi, my and apparently can get stuck there as well. My name is Stockton Rush. I'm the CEO and founder of OceanGate. Let's take a look at Titan. This guy's in some shit right now, I'm sure. We'll look at their tweet and response before we start going through the details. Not a very good one. They're basically just like, we're doing what we can. But the news covered this not that long ago. In reality, this guy is fine. <laughs> These guys are fine. Everybody who's running this company is fine because they have waivers. They're legally protected. Who's inside is not fine. So uh, those people here are obviously one worker who unfortunately is gone down with the ship and all this guy and it's everybody like else has to do on this <laughs> uh, company or in this company is just shut down what they're doing and take all the money i'm sure they'll go over it in this video uh but one trip on this thing one ticket is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars which is insane so this missing trip alone is a million dollar profit <laughs> Pretty much, because you'll see that not much money has gone into the construction of these things. Take a look at Titan. Let's do it. So we're coming into the this sub. This is obviously pre. This is the only toilet you available take up to five deep passengers. diving submersible. Best seat in the house. You can look out the viewport. We put a privacy screen in, turn up the music. Wow. And uh, it's uh, very popular. <laughs> We have our uh, Looks control so safe. screen here, our sonar screen here, and we can put any image we want in the back. We've taken huh. a completely new approach. <laughs> <laughs> My brother in Christ, what GameStop did you get that Logitech controller from? <laughs> My dude spent maximum $25 on that GameStop controller. Like... Like, <laughs> my brother, where is the turbo button on that thing? Maybe that'll get you out of there. Approach to the sub design, and it's all run with this game controller and these touch screens. So, if you want to go forward, you press forward. If you want to go back, you oh go God. back. Turn it's left, just that turn simple. right, go down, go up. And it's Bluetooth, so I can hand it to anybody. And it's meant for a 16. If you're going down to the depths of the Titanic, I don't want to rely on motherfucking Bluetooth. Sometimes I can't get my Bluetooth speaker to connect at work. And you're able to throw it around and super durable. We keep a couple of spares on board just in case. Keep, uh, we keep went a out. couple of spare controllers just in case you guys want to break out a Mario Party game. <laughs> this is the second year we've been out to the Titanic. It's a completely privately funded um, operation. And we're funded by what we call mission specialists who help support the mission. So they take <laughs> quite a bit of money to come and join us. Years ago, right. they, the... Uh, it's continuing to decay and it seems to be accelerating. It's being eaten by a bacteria, so it's literally being eaten by the ocean. It's not rusting away. So these things that, that are called rusticles are actually the, the byproduct of a bacteria that eats the iron. And as it does that, these, these uh, decks are collapsing. The promenade deck continues to collapse forward. Uh, we saw some of the railing is starting to, to, to lose its structural strength, which is really a sad thing. That's when it's going to stop looking like the Titanic. Oh, oh no. Was it worth dying over? I mean, this, this is cool, I'm not gonna lie to you, but like, right. you, you could have just sent a robot down there, brother. Railing is starting to, to, to lose its structural For strength, free. which is interesting The Titanic is the reason we go there, because people are willing to fund this kind of exploration and science, and that gives it completely different... Re That's the thing, is it, people are willing to fund it. I will pull up the list of people <laughs> who were missing, who were willing to fund it. This is the crew member, uh, a billionaire, a French uh, nautical expert, two uh, British, I guess, businessmen. Some pe some people are reporting differently on this stuff, but realistically, the people who are missing are just dumping loads of money into a brand new business. And uh, in my opinion, this is just like capitalism expedited, right? Here's these people needing the resources of all of Canada, every government resource, in order uh, from every Navy, <laughs> realistically, in order to... Uh, More this. Y you have all these people with so much money to fucking give anywhere that they want that all of a sudden you can just dump it on some rich dude's toy Research that's control. run by a, a literal GameStop controller. Design, and it's all run with this You know, and like, he's and got three screens. screens and a GameStop controller. And, and the second video of, of this guy... This in, is the one of... 
is what I wanted to see. Because they talk about like the conditions inside and there was just no planning at all for emergency just none it just is like the most capitalist like it's like how elon's running twitter right now is like how well, these guys is, ran uh, it's a, a submarine about the size of a minivan and it has titanium dome end caps on either end just, just the, the, there's a guy who goes on it they have like a, a bucket essentially to shit in <laughs> you know what i mean nothing i'm gonna find on this unfortunately is gonna be anything pre the emergency because the emergency is going to take over a lot of active thought here. Rightfully so. But people wondering why this shit happened. It's pretty fucking simple. It's just a company put no money into an emergency situation. Or really even the mechanics of their vessel. And now they're stuck <laughs> in the bottom of the ocean at titanic level depths literally fucking going down with their own ship he is a retired u.s navy captain for his perspective and author of the book turn the it's ship sad, around david good like, morning and thank you for joining uh, us you have served just, as the commander of a, a nuclear stupid fucking idea to do this to begin with and then to drop two hundred and fifty thousand dollars on something that's essentially wavered off like just like yeah you know you might die and then they show you how it works and you see three <laughs> led screens and a game stop controller can you start I, by I explaining what a rescue like this would even look like yeah i think there's two main steps one find the ship two bring it up to the surface i'm assuming <laughs> that the ship is on the bottom really? that's why we haven't found it so far finding a small submarine like that is guess. very very difficult if I had, right, uh, uh, that's the other thing is like uh, the, the the owner of the company and the people who run it talk about the simplicity of it and how it's just like a button, and but it's also so fucking small. I mean, no matter what radar technology you're using to find that shit, you're not finding that shit. Difficult. It's in and among the Titanic and the debris field of the Titanic. As Christian said, it's about the size of a minibus, right. and if they are not being active and banging and making some sort of noises it's, or it's like three days worth of oxygen as well maybe four and you got to be banging and making noise i'd have a pinger then we have to locate it using high um frequency high fidelity like, sonar do you think any of these guys had the foresight to put like some water in there because <laughs> like there's like no room number two we got to get it up to the surface because again as kristen said the people are bolted in and we can't mate another ship to imagine, it. Imagine making a million dollars per trip and <laughs> not being prepared for this. Insane. Submarine. All this. Yeah, that's the other thing is that it's before the oxygen done. runs out and we're about halfway through how much oxygen we think they might have. All right. The, the clock is ticking. Uh, this missing vessel, we're told, is a submersible, not a submarine. What is, what is the difference between the two? And does that change their chance for survival? A submersible and a submarine both are designed to go underwater and stay underwater. This has small propellers, so it can do a loose, can do maneuvering around a, um, a site location but it can't leave port drive out to sea it, it can't make its way out to the titanic on its own it gets towed out there by a mothership oh. which then stays in the vicinity that's and, and watches and supervises what's happening like it nothing. really needs that in your opinion is a rescue still possible at this wow. point i think it's possible i i mean the chilean miners were found and <laughs> The boys oh came God. out of the cave, and sometimes miracles happen, that being but I think the, the odds are... Yeah, from Cape Cod. Imagine that being the barrier for, hey, you coming out? I feel so bad for that kid, man. Ah. The, the, imagine just being bolted in that shit, too. Like, the diver might be like, hey, I could try if you gave us... Like, like why wouldn't you have a way to unbolt it? Why wouldn't you have a way with oxygen tanks or maybe some type of methodology to get out of there? Why wouldn't you have like a another ship following you out there? <laughs> oh my god, it's like so dumb. Are pretty low. There's, that's like what you do when you cut every facet of your company, except oh, and they're getting money. lower all the time. What's necessary? You gotta like, find them first. Bare minimum necessary. Four of the ship's mechanics in a CBS interview last year. Yeah. We can use these off. Thank the God you guys components. gave them a platform. We can use these off-the-shelf components. I got these from uh, Camper World. We run the whole thing with this game controller. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! It seems like this submersible has some elements of MacGyver-y 
jerry rigness I mean, yes. you're putting construction pipes as ballast. I don't know if I'd use that description of it, um, but there's certain things that you want to be uh, buttoned down. So the pressure vessel is not MacGyvered at all because that's where we work with Boeing and NASA and the University of Washington. Everything else can fail. Your thrusters can go, your lights can go, you're still going to be safe. The submersible, oh. which holds well, hey. people, is just uh, over 20 feet. Safe is subjective. <laughs> I don't think that's what that is, though. <laughs> with the underwater world heritage guidelines meaning that it can go to that depth with tourists but isn't allowed to disturb the site at all and the online uh, online the itinerary lists two more trips that they had been planning to take in 2024 savannah fascinating all right Kristen, thank you hey thanks for i like how they showed the part where they pushed back on them but not like the fluff piece that they did a year ago <laughs>